What's up you guys? It's Jono! Welcome to another episode of my Pokemon Legends Arceus request series. Today we're on request number 57, The Taste of Honey. This is going to be a request that you can find on the blackboard in Professor Leventon's lab in the Galaxy Hall. In order to unlock this request on the blackboard, you must have reached the point in the story where you get Baskew Legion as a rideable mount Pokemon. You also need to have added Combi to your Pokedex, so you need to go catch a Combi first and then you should see this on the blackboard. Now, once you get the request, head over to this house right here, it's over by the farm. If you're having trouble finding the location of Al Moose's home, just go ahead and enable the guide on the request by hitting your map and then hitting Y and then enable the guide in the request area and it'll show you which house to go to. Now you're gonna talk to Al Moose inside of his house. He's in the agricultural core and he's looking for different flavors of comb bee honey. He wants you to collect three comb bee from different areas. Now this could actually take you a long time and that's why this is one of the longer videos on my request series. You're gonna have to find one from the grueling grove you're also going to have to find one from Ramana's Island, which is going to be the hardest one, and that's the last one. And the second one you need to get is from Apom Hill over in the Cobalt Coastlands. The other two are in Obsidian Fieldlands. And of course, I don't have one, so we're going to have to go and track down all three of these combis. Now, you may already have a combi, but he won't take it because it has to be from those specific areas. He's looking for very specific Pokemon. So first off, let's get the first one. It's over in the Grueling Grove, which is in the top right of the map next to the horse shoot planes. Once you are able to get over there, there's a bunch of combi that are pretty easy to find. I'm going to go ahead and mark the location on the map for you. It took me a while to figure out where this was because I didn't have it unlocked on my map, so I had to look up a guide online as well just to get this guide for you prepared. So it does take a little bit of preparation to get this stuff done, but it's not too bad. Now you also do have to run all the way across the map, so I went ahead and cut some footage out of this episode just to make sure that I don't waste you guys' time. Obviously, you know how to get on your mount Pokemon and ride all the way across, and I gave the location so you should be good to go. I do recommend to catch these with feather balls if you have any because they are a bit skittish and they will run away. Luckily there's plenty of them available and you shouldn't have too hard of a time catching them because they are extremely easy to catch but they might run away from you so just watch out. They are a bit skittish and I do recommend to catch them from a distance that way you don't mess up and lose them. It doesn't matter if you give them male or female combi however there is an easter egg that I'm going to show you at the end of the video. If you give him an alpha pokemon you do get a different response and it's actually quite interesting if you give the people of Hisui alpha Pokemon during your request they do give you a slightly different response it doesn't change anything in the game but it's really just an Easter egg it's a fun little added value to the game if there's any request that requires you to find a Pokemon and show it to a particular NPC then I do recommend to get an alpha Pokemon if you can because it's really fun to see the different response that they give you it's one of the very few Easter eggs and changes in the game that you can make and like I said it doesn't affect anything in the story but it's just one of those fun little easter eggs all right so after we give him the first combi he tastes the honey and of course it has a tree flavor so that's got to be quite delicious and now he's looking for one on a palm hill so what we're going to do is head over to the cobalt coastlands and find a combi on a palm hill this one took me a while but it really shouldn't take a very long time they're actually not on top of a palm hill they're down below a palm hill I got a little bit confused by that, so don't go all the way up to the top of Apom Hill where the guy who gives you Baskew Legion has his house. Actually, down below, there's a whole bunch of trees, and you'll be able to find a combi down there quite easily, and that's definitely the combi that he's looking for. Don't bother with the shaky trees or anything like that. There's just combis out here next to where you can find all the dazzling honey on the ground, and just catch one real quick, and then we'll head back to Al Moose's house and we'll give him the second combi as well. Now, I went ahead and showed the map and put down a pin just so you can find the exact location because like I said I did take a little bit too long figuring this out sometimes I'm just learning and figuring stuff out for my own but that's why I like to make the videos as concise as possible just to make sure I don't waste you guys time and so you guys can complete these as quickly as possible and I'm also cutting out my travel time so you have to travel back to camp I recommend to use fast travel to go back to camp you also have to go back to Jubilee Village I recommend to use fast travel to get over to the garden area and then it is pretty close to Al Moose's house and that's probably the fastest way to get back to his house. Now, once you show him the combi, he will get a little taste of the honey, and of course he loves that honey taste. Why wouldn't he? Combi's honey is purely delicious, and I'm not sure what flavor this one was. Let's go ahead and check here. It's a special treat all on its own. I'm guessing that it tastes like 
bananas because it's over at Apalm Hill. It definitely tastes different than the grueling Grove honey, and we've got a few more that we need to get. Actually, just one more that we need to get. I'm glad he doesn't want a comb bee from every single area that they spawn on the whole game because they do spawn all over the place, and I have got so many shiny combies because it is such a common Pokemon. But we're down to our last one, and that's going to be on the Ramana's Island, a very notable flower-covered island. Now, the thing that's really hard about this is you have to get a shaking tree. There's absolutely no comb bees here they only spawn in the shaking trees so if you happen to get here and there's no shaking trees you're gonna have to go back to Jubilee village and then come all the way back and wait until you get a shaking tree this is definitely the hardest one i had to go back and forth to Jubilee village a couple of times to try and get the combi to come out and we got a female combi which is actually quite rare so that was nice it doesn't really make any difference but it's nice if you do want to evolve it because only the female combi can evolve so there we go. You have to get the combi out of a shaking tree. I have to make that abundantly clear and repeat it for you guys because I don't want you to get confused. If you don't see any shaking trees, you have to go all the way back to Jubilee Village. Make sure you use fast teleport and then you can come back here again. Make sure you go to the middle camp, not the camp up at the top left of the map, but the one that's directly in the center of the map. That's the fastest place to get over here. Also, you have to have Basque Legion to get to the island in the first place, unless you're later in the game and you can fly there. But I had Basque Legion at this point in time, and you do need Basque Legion to get to the island. But you can't unlock the request until you have Basque Legion, so obviously that won't be an issue. All right, you guys, so we're on the final Combi here. We're going to give a little sample of Combi's honey. And as promised, I do have a little bonus video at the end of this episode. I'm going to show you. It's coming up here in just a second. If you give him an Alpha Combi, you do get a slight different response and I found it so interesting that I took a video of it and I was going to make sure that I put it on this video for you to see because I'm guessing it might be a little hard for you to get an alpha combi it was hard for me to get one as well and I did just happen to complete that with the alpha Pokemon on my other account and I thought it was pretty interesting what he said so that's coming up here in just a second now once we finish up this request it's all done and you can get your reward three Kingsleaf and three dazzling honey obviously you probably saw earlier Earlier in the video that you can just pick dazzling honey up off the ground the same with King's Leafs so it's really not that rare so anyway not that great of a reward but we got it done so there we go and here is the little Easter egg you can see he's so impressed that we brought him an alpha Pokemon and he thinks he could probably get a year's worth of honey off of this one alpha Pokemon so that's the little Easter egg you guys he just gives a slightly different response anyway that's gonna be it for this episode I hope that you enjoyed it thanks everybody for watching I hope you found it informative as well and peace